This is World Snooker Championship 2007 on the PlayStation 2, um, published by Sega. It's a pretty damn good game. Um, I bought it on eBay for about something. It was around seven to ten pounds, um, and you can see the three famous snooker players there looking pretty mean and moody. So all they're trying to give snooker a hard edge or something. I don't know. Seems a bit daft, but. Um, so obviously you can play the uh, the World Snooker Championships and you can also play pool as well but um, at first when I read about the game I thought it was going to be the kind of pool we get over here in Britain but it's not, it's um, basically American pool um, it's American pool billiards, um, I'm not sure, I'm not really familiar with the game but um, you get like three famous commentators in the game um, John Parrott, Steve Davis, he's my favourite snooker player um, even though I'm not that much of a fan of watching snooker on TV um, and John Burgo you can also play against uh, famous snooker players obviously and I think you may be able to un unlock them and play as them as well not really sure as I've not got that far yet um, so there's the manual and the desk So yeah, let's take a look at World Snooker Championship 2007 on the PlayStation 2. So this is the menu screen and you've got Championship Online, Tutorial, Versus and Quick Play. So let's go on to Championship and you've got Snooker, Trick Shot, Golden Key, Hybrid and Pill. So let's go on to Snooker. So this game was only released in Europe and Australia. You can tell by the path of the cue ball that he put side. That character that, that you see in there, that's a character that I created because it the uh, the game has a create create a character mode. The positioning and not enough on the pot. I don't think there's anything easy on there. Now um playing a game of snooker it's it's not that hard really, to be honest. Um, it's quite easy to make pots, it's quite easy to set yourself up for other shots. Um, but it does get very hard very quickly, The you know, your opponents that you're playing against. Um, you know, you'll find that after a few fl frames in the uh, qualifying rounds, uh, you'll find that you'll be getting whooped all the time. Now the way you'll see me playing throughout this gameplay will be in a very basic way because I'm not that advanced yet. Um, but you can do a lot of things with your shots, you know, a lot of the buttons on the controller are, you know, used for making alterations to your shots. I find that the graphics on this game are very good. Um, Sometimes it, it looks as though you, you almost could be watching the real thing on the TV. Not so much the characters and the arena, but I'm talking more like the uh, the snooker table itself and the, the balls and everything. He got the black in his sights and knocked it home. Eight. Now, the only problems that I have with this game is that... Um, there seems to be a glitch with the uh, with this sound of the crowd. Um, after a couple of minutes of playing, the the sound of the cr crowd will start looping, and it never goes away. So um, that's why I've got the sound of the crowd totally turned down on um, on this gameplay voyage. Um, I thought maybe it was just a fault with my game, but I did buy another copy of this on eBay, and it had the the same problem. So maybe all copies of this game are like that. I don't know. Um, and the other problem that I have with the game is that uh, sometimes the frame rate will totally stutter. Um, you'll see what I mean while watching the gameplay footage. It's um, it's really noticeable. But apart from those flaws, um, I do still find it a very enjoyable game to play.
Well, it's not looking as good for him now as it did 15 seconds ago. That wasn't a good shot. Will he pay? Seven. I think you'll probably choose the one near the pink spot. One. Safely potted there. Good shot. Now you don't have to watch your opponent take his shots. You can uh, you can skip through them if you want if you want to. You can tell by the path of the cue ball that he put side on that. He had a good go at a difficult pot. Would have been in a reasonable position for his next shot. But yeah, that shadow that you can see, it comes in really handy because wherever that shadow is, it shows you where the white ball will land. And you can alter where the shadow goes by um, obviously altering your spin or your power or whatever. Um, so it's it's... It's quite easy uh, to uh, to set yourself up for the for the next shot. Has he forgotten the rules or something? It's the white ball you want to hit with the big long stick. There's a very straight shot on. So this is a American pill. Um, I don't really know how to play this. Um, all I know is that you've got to put the the numbers in order, but that's pretty much it. I don't really know any of the other rules. But yeah, that's a World Snooker Championship 2007 on the PlayStation 2. Um, it's a great game. Um, I, uh, you know, if you, if you like the look of it and, you know, you've not played a snooker game on the PlayStation 2 before, then I recommend, uh, I definitely recommend trying this out. Um, if you have played other snooker games on the PlayStation 2, then I'm not sure if I would recommend it because I don't know how it compares to them. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Now they can see this, but they can't make it. Not much available here. If he plays a good safety, then the next shot will be very awkward. Great pocketing.